Welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you down into my backyard, back here by the garden, where I'm just dying laughing. Let me <laughs> set the stage. By the time y'all see this, it will have been two weeks ago. I was talking to Junior saying how I wished I could grow some potatoes this year, but I'm not going to be able to get any potatoes to start. Now, last year we had a lot of potatoes to plant, and, well, they were growing very well until he had to go into the hospital, and, well, they just withered in the sunlight. So I didn't think nothing about it. About last week, I started nursing because I've got grow bags holding down the sides of the hootie hoop house for now. And I'm going, there's something growing in them. Oh yeah, there's something growing in them. Potatoes. And then down here where the five gallon buckets of potatoes were, I have two of them with potatoes coming up out of them. So yeah. I was blessed with potatoes out of nowhere, y'all. So let's have some fun. Uh, I'm going to fertilize them a little bit because I already know the soil's good and fertile because they wouldn't have sprouted if they wouldn't, if it wouldn't have been because there's a lot of compost in there, Epsom salt already. And yeah, this ought to be interesting. So yes, I'm going to have taters. So let's get busy. Okay, see this little one coming up? I'm going to wait to put more soil in here. Uh, once it gets bigger and I'll fill it up. But I am. I done went through. <coughs> pulled most of the weeds out. But I am going to give them, since they are potatoes, a root crop. They need bone meal. They eat a lot of bone meal. So you want to make sure that they have plenty of bone meal. Because when they have that bone meal, that means you're going to get some spuds. And last year, Angela had blessed me with a 40-pound bag of potatoes. Some of them have spr had sprouted, some of them didn't. So I planted almost that whole 40-pound box. We ate quite a few because these are big. It got to be russets because, no, uh, they're another one. I'll put it on the bottom of the, the screen. Like I said, I'm not going to put any more dirt in here. The others I have. Because I want this to come up some more. That way it has the stalk gets more um, coverage of soil. But I know these are monster baking potatoes. I'll add a little bit more soil later in this one. But there's a bunch... Well, there's weed. A bunch of little sprouts coming up. So, this ought to be interesting. I don't want to dig too deep because you don't want to disturb the roots. But I want to get it mixed in there. We have rain coming. So, the rain will take the bone meal down to those roots and those tubers, potatoes, will start forming. Now that's my two five gallon containers. <coughs> the rest are three gallons, which should prove interesting. But look how beautiful and healthy. This is in a week's time. Look at that, y'all. I was dying laughing. I'm going to have to be careful what I say. I was sure blessed with some potatoes. 
potato plants. And of course, I'll bring you along as they're growing. And I did add more soil in here because it had compacted and I broke it up lightly around the, the stems. Now, I'm not wild about it being on the edge because I usually try to get them right smack in the middle. But hey, they're a gift, so I'm thankful for them. I was walking around the hoop house finding one bag after another. Then I found another bag over there. Then I found two bags back over there. I didn't think nothing about it. But I want to make sure this bone meal gets in there and they get fed real good. I know there's plenty of compost in here and Epsom salt, so I'm not going to add any more. I'm looking forward to seeing these little ones grow and thrive. Now, see, here's one little one here that's just coming up. I added a little bit of soil, not much, but I've had to weed them all because, well, I didn't think if they were, you know, I didn't think there's any potatoes in there at all. So, surprise. Like I said, I got to be real gentle because I don't want to disturb any roots that might be forming because those roots that's forming, it's what's going to be making those potatoes. But I do want to get, you don't want any weeds at all, grass in your potatoes because they will siphon the nutrients away from your potatoes. And as this one and that one get, and probably this one, as it gets bigger, then I'll add just a little bit more soil into the bag. But look how beautiful and healthy they are. Just gorgeous. I'm just so tickled to death about them. Let me move that back a little bit. I'm just so tickled to have them. How do you make an Irish person happy? Taters. I said I don't want to dig too deep because I don't want to disturb anything. But I do want to make sure that they get fed real good. And that soil is good and moist. So these grow bags are heavy. Look how beautiful those are. Look at that. And I put as much soil as I can. It's up to them now. Like I said, as as I water, the bone mill will trickle down. And I know once the potatoes are done growing, that whatever I add in here, which will probably be hot pepper, there will be plenty of bone mill in the soil already. I'll probably add a little bit anyway, but still. Now potatoes, you want to have more of the bone meal, uh, less nitrogen, because the nitrogen, if it's, the nitrogen is too high, all you'll get is uh, greenery. You want the potassium 
and um, let me get the other one good place. I put it at the bottom or in the description box below the video. More of the bone mill, and it also has I know wood ash in here and biochar. <coughs> so they could, should be good. <coughs> this one is hilarious. <coughs> there was a grow bag sitting on top of this one, and it was still trying to grow out from under the grow bag. I had a lot more soil. <coughs> now you want to leave enough room so when you water, the water doesn't spill out. I am so thankful for this bone mill. But they're good, lush, and green. So I know they have plenty of nutrients in there. I just want to make sure that they have plenty of bone meal. Because if these spuds, if these plants grow any potatoes as big as the ones I planted, they're going to be huge. And then we have one more. Now, I have several other bags. I've kind of checked them. I didn't feel any potatoes in them, but I'm not putting anything past anything anymore. But wood ash is another good one for potatoes. That's what a lot of your... Uh, Ancestors used with wood ash. Which, if the wind will ever settle down, I'll be making some wood ash. Or they also would uh, burn the fields as well, which is what fertilize the ground or the upcoming potato crop. But see this one? There's a sprout. Here's a sprout. There's a sprout. Here's a sprout. There's a sprout. Everywhere there's a sprout. Sprout. This one must have had a really good sized potato in it. Simple, easy. I'm going to get it straightened out and I'll bring y'all right back. Of course I wasn't expecting to be growing any potatoes so I've got to clean my area up get rid of a bunch of the grass and get them you want them to have good ventilation and water them, make sure they don't dry out you gotta make sure you want them to be slightly moist but not soaked and potatoes are easy to grow and they are so much fun. I have quite a few videos on growing potatoes my way. My way might not be your way, which is perfectly fine. The main thing is grow your food. Grow it however you can get it to grow because you're going to need to put up and put back as much as possible. I'm still laughing looking at the potatoes. I didn't expect them, not whatsoever. And I am beyond thankful for them. <clears throat> Everyone, continue to stock your pantry with food that, are, that, will, uh, that is nutritious and will sustain you. I'll get my words out here in a minute. It was hot today. Medicinals that will heal you protection of all kinds and the bare essentials to survive on this has been great i am so thankful for spuds and they are just absolutely gorgeous 
everyone i look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed hoot hoot i'll see you soon